These lunches will soon be filling the bellies of students. But first, it's time for a taste test of the curry. It's one of the best meals that you're going to have. Um, so I think you'd be amazed at what they've achieved here. Hot and cold meals will be delivered to eligible schools for all students. The cost of each lunch has been reduced to $3, a result of the government using its bulk purchasing power. Now, I mean, I'm not going to get caught up in the in the size of them too much. Uh, someone's actually messaged us, Vicky's messaged us saying, I'm, I'm assuming Vicky's saying they're 240 grams, which doesn't feel like nothing. But what, I mean, do you remember being at primary school? P parents of primary school kids now, is that an okay lunch? I mean, what happens at morning tea, afternoon tea? Is that going to get kids through or not? Now, I'm not, I'm not actually looking to poke holes in it for whole sake. I'm genuinely asking, is that portion size going to be enough? Mm. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to borrow phrases from our chat last night. I'm not going to let good be the enemy of perfect okay i think any meal program that is available to all students is better than nothing but, but not I as am, good as what they had last year yeah i and and i think for a couple of reasons i yes i, I would have questions as you said serving size nutritional basis had they looked at that or is it just cost per meal as I said, this government's great at knowing the cost of everything, but not the value of anything. So one of the benefits of, of the previous school program is that they just gave schools the money and they sourced stuff locally. There's a spin-off benefit to the local economy and local producers and fresh produce and that sort of thing. This is more centralised meal production factories frozen and sent out nationwide. Mm -hmm. They're trying to get the cost down through economy of scale. Again, not necessarily the worst fucking thing in the world, but is it the best thing that we can do? In the meantime, while we're working that out, let's put some food in some kids' bellies. They're yeah. I hear you. We'll keep going. Argument is not fun. Oh, no, fuck. Compass Group, owned by a British multinational company, will run ah, the new program with ah, big brands ah, like ah, Fonterra, Griffins and Hellers supplying food. Most of the current suppliers providing meals to schools will be cut. Those include small locally owned businesses. I can sympathise with people who have... Remember that conversation we've been having about this government is a government for big business and not for small business or individuals? Is that just this box being ticked? Box being ticked, perhaps, on this one. Lost business as a result of this change. But if you put it around the other way, uh, should we spend twice as much taxpayer money and get the same result? But health experts doubt it will have the same nutritional results. Health Coalition Aotearoa concerned about suppliers Compass Group and Libel, who have previously been subject to performance management over food quality issues. Oh, the Education Ministry says that... Yeah, and also remember, just let me use an example of people who ever go to McDonald's. You know how the Big Mac looks in the advert compared to what you actually get in your... In your they, they still come in boxes? We're just seeing very nicely laid out foods. You know, there was, I saw the display of like uh, yogurts and stuff. They're all looking pretty. This here, see all these look all, lo all lovely, laid out perfectly. I wonder also how much of this is uh, the advert versus what it'll actually be. That's going to be uh, telling as well. This was robust. The government says the meals meet current nutrition standards, but one dietitian says there's a lack of fresh veggies. Simply cutting the amount of food that they're having and supplying a more processed, less varied diet is a complete lo uh, lost opportunity uh, for our health system. Schools with primary and older students are welcoming the change to one lunch model. I think it's fantastic. I think it, it needs to be that. Again, I thought this true. You know, he said earlier about that person on the street in Wellington where their vote was. We don't even get the name of this person to research them. Now, I'm not, again, casting aspersions, but it would be good to be able to find out is there any kind of reason that some within the school system are very pro this and others are not? I, I don't know, but we don't even get to know who this person is. No name comes up at all. Equity across the school. Really good that we've got the foods. The lunch is still really good that it's a single model. But my concerns are around the remoteness of us and that the model is geared up for city students. The new menu starts being dished up in the new year. I don't know about you, Joy, but I don't think I've ever seen a man struggle so much to put a... Put a um, Rissol in his mouth. Watch again. Geared up for city students. The new menu starts being dished up in blink, the new blink, year. Blink, blink, blink. That was um, like it's 
really good. When the real food reviews oh. by Tamariki will happen. Oh. Kate Nicole Williams. There you go. Now, I want to add one other thing to this conversation, and it's not to do with the school lunches, it's to do with something that's happening in America, but you go first. Thoughts, sir? Uh, my thoughts aren't good. Like, I, I'll, I'll stick with the <laughs> thing that any any meal is, is better than no meal. Um, but I think that New Zealand students deserve better than this. I I think a decentralised model that had more f- fresh fruit and vegetables that pumped money into local producers, the local manufacturers and that sort of thing over a British multinational company with questions over food quality in the past is really the thing that's going to inspire confidence. Like, this, this is just mass-produced freezer food yeah for kids and it's hitting bare minimum standards and the thing that they are most happy about and i think the thing that would have been the top line item of what they wanted to achieve was three dollars a meal it yeah. needs to be cheaper than what national uh, what labor did because we've we've criticized them about it it looks and like a, a fucking corporate handout again we said this last week about an infrastructure issue. If your starting point, if your top line, if your most important thing is the dollar value, then you're always going to fall short. Now that can be go you know, up the top, but if the number one thing is budget, that's it, versus you know use versus in this case you know health outcomes, whatever, then you're always going to come short. Let me throw this at you as well. I talked a bit about this the other day. I'm not going to play anything, but I'm going to show you something. There's there three YouTubers. Um, KSI, whichever one of the oh, calls these it is, cunts. Logan or whatever, and Mr. Beast. I quite like Mr. Beast. We watch him with my kids sometimes. Oh, no, Pat. They've, they've bought out this product called Lunchly. Now, there's a another one, another product, I think called Lunchify or something like that. And so these guys are trying to kind of, quote, unquote, eat their lunch by putting out their own product. And this guy, Logan, is this Logan Paul? or Jake Paul, whichever one he is, he has this product called Prime Drink, and it's like the worst drink in the world. That's all full of sugar. It doesn't do jack all. Obviously, Feastables are Mr. Beast and KSI. is just riding the riding the wave. Now, there's a document. You can go have a look at this online yourself. Doctor reacts to the Lunchly controversy. This is the thing I'm trying to, to, to check in with what happens with these foods, because what the doctor found out was actually some of the levels within these packages of like sodium and like fats and all that, they weren't too bad. Right, they weren't too bad, but what they found out was the average calorie that you want to give to a child is uh, that's, that's uh, year one to year six in, in New Zealand. Uh, so that'll be that's primary school, that's intermediate school. So primary school is between 550 and 600 calories, that's how much they should be having for lunch. Intermediate school, 600 to 700 calories. Now, what they found out was these meals are only 230 calories. So when you look at the ingredients on the back and the the salt, the sodium's not too bad and the fats aren't too bad, all those kinds of things, that's because the portion size is only one third what it should be for the calorie intake. So therefore, if you give them the, the right number of calories, you have to eat nearly three of these to get the calorie intake recommended by the medical fraternity as to what the kids should be having. So one of my questions straight away now, after listening to this, because it's really interesting, I'd never thought about that, that the food needs to be of a certain calorie limit or size for the kids to be able to function it's fuel i always talk to my kids about food being fuel for your body so they need 500 calories of fuel to function properly they're getting these uh these meals and i'm just talking about the the youtubers one the lunch lease and yeah on the back the sodium is not too bad and the fats aren't too bad and the carbs aren't too bad but it's only one third the fuel they need to actually get through the day now bringing that back to what's going on here this is what i want to now know about these lunch meals like, what is their calorie intake? Is that going to sustain a child? Because, you know, butter chicken sounds great, but in a proper butter chicken, you have lots of creams and that kind of stuff. Those calories will be quite high for quite a small portion or what. So that's that's what I'm still waiting on. And I get the sense that um, health experts haven't been able to have a crack at this yet because it was just released today. Once they do, dietitians and stuff will be able to break it down more. And then we'll find out not to not put food in people's tummies, Chewy, but then we'll find out if they are also achieving as well as they have been with giving the kids the foods they need.